Hi guys, it's Jenny. Welcome back to my channel. For today, I have a very special video. As you can tell by the title, it has to do with my wedding. I got married August 22, and so for today's video, I will be showing you guys how I decorated the backyard for our special day. If you guys want to see the process and get some DIY ideas, then just keep watching. The day before our wedding, we went to the flower market in downtown LA. This was our first time coming here, so I decided to record for you guys just in case you've never been here before. So the flower market basically consists of a lot of different vendors selling all types of flowers and plants and they also sell some party decorations. If you are planning on going to the flower market, I do suggest you have an idea of what flowers you are going to buy and the quantities. I made a list on my notes of how many flowers I was going to need, which you guys can see right here. It just made it a lot easier for me to find what I needed and not waste too much time. So when I first got there, we did a whole lap around the market to see what was available. And then on the second lap was when I actually chose the flowers that I liked. I also had a picture of the bouquet that I wanted to make. I got the picture from Pinterest, so I kept pulling that up on my phone to pick the perfect flowers. If you guys are planning on going, there is a parking lot in the corner, which was $9 on the day we went, and I believe the market is open from 6 to 2 or 6 to 12. I suggest bringing cash with you, but I did see that some vendors do take card. From what I noticed, a lot of the vendors have around the same prices. And how it works is that if the flowers are in a bucket, then they sell the whole bucket, which is usually two dozen flowers. But if the flowers are wrapped in plastic, or paper then that means they will sell you one dozen. I ended up spending around $50 for all the flowers I got. In my opinion it was very affordable because one bouquet of flowers at a store is half that price or more. I would recommend you have someone with you to help you carry all the flowers or bring a little car or basket with you because the flowers can get heavy. So we ended up picking up baby spread, red roses, white roses, some burgundy carnations, eucalyptus, seeded eucalyptus, and these burgundy flowers which I actually don't know the name of but they just stood out to me. They were so pretty. So while we were at the market, some rentals arrived at the house. I ended up ordering these two wooden tables from a rental company with 12 gold chairs. And I also rented this arch which came with the ivory chiffon and these fake burgundy and white flowers on it. I was planning on DIYing the arch, but I figured I might as well rent it because I didn't want to have to find a place to store the arch later. So I decided to have a dessert table and this is just me adding this white tablecloth which I already owned. As I was putting it on this round table I noticed that it's meant for a square table so we had to actually switch it. These are some of the decorations that I was planning on using. I bought some of these at Hobby Lobby and also at the Dollar Tree.
I got this burlap runner at Hobby Lobby. It was actually in the ribbon section. I was originally going to buy a burlap table runner, but it was a lot more shorter and a little more expensive. So I decided to get this instead and I was able to add it to the wooden table and then when I cut off the excess, I was able to use the remainder on the dessert table. I also got these eucalyptus fake leaves at Hobby Lobby and just decided to spread them around the dessert table. I also got these eucalyptus garlands at Hobby Lobby. I added two on the table and then I also added one at the top of this black frame which ended up kind of blending in with the tree in the back. But this is just us trying to add this um, Mr. and Mrs. balloon sign to the frame. The black frame I actually took from work. And then the string lights I got at Marshall's. So this is what the table was looking like so far. We uncovered the chairs and added the white seat cushions to them. I also added these placemats to the table which my cousin actually used these for one of her parties and gave them to me just in case they worked with my decor and I think they went really well. I added five mason jars to the table. I had my husband add fairy lights inside of them that I bought on Amazon. That's me in the shade drinking water because it was around 90 plus degrees so we were sweating so much. And my mother-in-law was helping me wrap burlap string around some candles that I bought at the Dollar Tree. I got the Mr. and Mrs. Wooden signs at Hobby Lobby. And I also got the candle holders from the rental company. Here is a close-up of how the jar and the candles ended up looking. I bought them both at the Dollar Tree and I think adding the burlap and the fairy lights made them look a little more expensive. This is what the dessert table was looking like at first. I randomly added the items but I had to switch out the layout because we had a lot more desserts than I thought. I got the sign and the napkins at Target. Here are some pictures of how the flower vases ended up looking. I bought these smaller vases at the Dollar Tree and I also made two larger vases that I already owned. I also ended up doing three other vases and here is a picture of how my bouquet ended up looking like. So this is what the table was looking like when I added the flowers and the candles. I also had extra seeded eucalyptus. So I decided to just add it on top of the fake eucalyptus and I also added fairy lights all throughout the eucalyptus. This is a video of how the candles looked once they were all turned on. And here's the final look. 